Well guys, this is going to be a doozy, so I'm definitely going to have to open up one of these because we're about to go down the rabbit hole of insanity chat, and oh boy, is it going to be great. So, this is a channel called Love Notes from TLC. This woman, or girl, or whatever, pretty much totally insane. A uh, complete nut job, in my opinion. I've been going through some of her videos here. We'll go through some of them too, but basically, she's, um, from what I can gather from her channel, is that she's been arrested recently for falsifying a rape charge. Um, I don't know if it's real or not. It doesn't seem real, according to what I'm seeing on the internet, but, anyways. Uh, and then she, uh, I guess gave both recently and got her kid took it away. How was after? She has made um within a one day's period, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos. Eight videos of having a mental breakdown. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna watch them all because they go on for hours on end. Um but we could start off with her being arrested a day before she gave birth. Um just crazy shit, though. I mean, like, this, this fucking goal. Uh, we gotta open up one of these, man, Chad. This is gonna be, gonna be a fucking weird one. Oh, it tastes like ass. Anyways, we're gonna start off with this video. We'll watch some of this insanity together, because honestly, this woman seems mentally ill, and probably shouldn't be making YouTube videos, like, at all. Considering that, uh, she got her kid taken away. It seems like because of her outbursts on YouTube, uh, I don't think it's uh, in her best interest to continue making YouTube videos. But, anyways, I I uh, digress. Oh, fine. Yeah. Well, Tisha, it'd be better pull out if you come out and talk with us. You know. Now, keep in mind. For my girl from this chick's uh, channel, she's homeless living in a car. This this chick does not have a stable living environment at all. Considering that she had a kid, considering I took it away, it's probably for the best. Well, we just gotta ask you some quick questions, and then we can kind of go from there. No. It'd be better if you're out here, okay? <laughs> What are, you, what are you gonna talk to me about? We, we just gotta ask some, uh, some quick questions, okay? And then we can get out of your hair. There's some stuff in the back of your life that yeah. we can talk to you about. Yeah. Like the warrant for the falsified rape report? Now, yeah, this is what, this is what from what I can understand. She apparently made a falsified rape report. Um, now, I don't know if it's true or not, but from what I can tell, Especially from looking at the comments, it seems like she's full of shit, but I, I don't know. This wasn't falsified? Okay, but then I'll... I could tell you, I don't, I don't know any fucking guy that would leave this chick, I can tell you that much. System, you know, come back. So like I said, if you come out here, we can get all this stuff cleared out. No. If we, we don't have a choice, you have to go down for the warrant, okay? We're gonna be down for the warrant? Do what? Down for the warrant? Yeah, well, you'll have to go down to the county jail. Okay. So, you're trying to put me in jail when I'm literally nine months pregnant. That doesn't matter if you're nine months pregnant, lady. You have a warrant out for your arrest. They could take you even if you're one day away from giving both, which it seems like you will, but it doesn't matter, you know? It really doesn't. I have, like, a few days left to before I give birth. September 4th is the due date. Okay. And we'll communicate that with the jail. Yep. yep. But as of right now, we don't have a choice in what happens from here on out. So this okay. process, like I said, goes a lot smoother if you just come out and cooperate with us. Right. Yep. Right. Correct. So you want to step out of your car for us? No. Okay. Now, she she has a warrant out for arrest. They're going to arrest her no matter what. At this point. Well, Tisha, we don't have a choice. So you're going to have to come out of the car no matter what, alright? We don't want to make 
So you're gonna drag me in. You're gonna drag me in. And you know, <clears throat> I do not feel bad for this chick whatsoever. She is pregnant and she's gonna put her body through stress when meanwhile she should just go down to the jail with these guys. Cause she has a warrant off of arrest. Either way they're gonna bring her in. Doesn't matter how it's it's either they're gonna bring her in the easy way or the hard way. And she's making it the hard way. So it shows how much of a good parent she is. Another thing that I've heard is that she's already had a kid and that kid has been taken away as well. Um and then she was talking about how she's gonna bone whole baby's crib and shit like that just insanity coming from this woman to force me into confines detain me again after i was detained at seven months right there's a warrant for my arrest for falsifying the rape report that led to this fucking child so could you step out of the car for us please no Alright, so this is that video uh, out of the way. Jesus Christ. Get out of there. No, we don't want to see watch by the Lord. Jesus Christ. Alright. Okay, okay brother. Um, he was whole crying in the hospital after she got a kid took it away. And she's live streamed eight PS times. I mean, this is not what you should be doing. And the woman heard me talk about how I was, you know, it was the shock value of stating these things online and that I had been on under a lot of stress. I'm okay. I'm dealing. They took Jason away a while ago, the baby. And... Uh, they want me to go to like some kind of absurd court proceeding in a couple of days to try to win him back by saying some bullshit and i'm not i'm not gonna do it there's so you're not gonna it, it's funny how she cries about her kid getting taken away but she doesn't want to go to court to get her kid taken back from cps by the way it's not a good idea even if she was to do it because she's homeless she's literally living in a car I mean, this was bound to happen regardless. There's no point in fighting for something that, first of all, was rightfully mine. Second of all, was never in danger. And third of all, is, uh, I really don't, I really just don't care. I know, thank you. And it shows how much of a good person she is. She really just doesn't care about a little kid that she just gave birth to. Women like this are just disgusting, in my opinion. They are just truly disgusting. You know, they, they don't give a shit about anyone else but themselves. Thank you for the hugs because I'm going to need them. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm completely and, over it. I can't wait. And instead of caring about a kid, instead of that, she live streams. She live streams. Wow, lady. Just fucking wow. You know, the internet is not everything. And, you know, some people, the internet completely consumes them. And this is someone that the internet completely consumes because they're utterly and worrying about a kid. Other than, you know, trying to not act insane for five minutes. She wants to live stream and pull a pity party for herself. To get away from everyone <laughs> fucking blows and everything. My mind. Um, and people... Oh, no one can make you feel bad. Well, yeah, they make you feel like you want to commit suicide. That's what they want. I mean, this is why your kid got taken away with. Saying shit like this on the internet, especially. And I told her I was like, and of course I'm gonna cry right now while I'm alone. Alone. <laughs> I don't even believe this. I don't believe that reaching out, trying to get it, it's just like never been good for me. Never. Um. It's okay, I had my moments with him. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna cry, but I'm gonna act mentally insane on the internet. Oh, wow, lady. You're so fucking bright. Oh, my God.
And this is not the first time I've seen this lady. I've seen this lady months ago on uh on YouTube acting completely insane as well. I wonder if I could find that video. Oh, I would be freaking through all the time. Fuck that. Like, oh my god, people are so fucking stupid. Like, first of all, all the glass that was shattered was sitting in the driver's seat. That wouldn't have happened if the brick had been thrown from that window, mind you. That I know because I've seen windows that have been... I don't really care. You guys are crazy and, and psychotic. And I was actually one of like the best moms I have ever met, honestly. I'm so just calm and I never do anything to act out. Sure, I. She's one of the best moms people have ever met. Meanwhile, she acts completely insane on the internet. Like, this is what I mean, you know what I mean? I don't even worry about a little kid. She would want to hop on live stream and get a pity party. I say a bunch of shit, but you're going to abuse me for that? For, for my. Freedom of speech? Like, e, yikes, you guys are going to fucking hell. That's why I said on that, Satan hates godly people. Because the government- Oh, here we come with the Satan and government talk. Oh no, that's totally making you look so sane. You know, that's totally why, uh, you know, you know, child protective services totally ain't gonna think, to sorry, are totally gonna think that you'll know we're talking about Satan and the government. Government. Is ran by a bunch of Satan's minions, and oh I really don't know what to say about that. I know damn well. And then I get back to my car, right? Now, if this would have been a two-day process, and if my car would have been sitting in the heat, yes, I had this window up here open. You know, and does she really think she would be a good mom? Meanwhile, she's homeless in a fucking car. Like, think about that, guys. This woman's homeless in a car mentally insane, falsifying police reports saying that people are raping her. Meanwhile, who would rape this? Just saying. Like, my God. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Like and subscribe, um, all that jazz. I shall be live streaming tomorrow or on Friday. Probably both. Um, so look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, peace out. Take care.